after this video, you are going to be typing way faster than you already are. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but whenever I see somebody typing really fast, it is probably one of the coolest things that I ever see. So one day I'm going through YouTube, right? I'm just scrolling and I see this video with the world's fastest typing championship. And I go and I watch it and the boys were zooming. And I'm a student that spends a lot of time in front of a keyboard. So I thought to myself, yeah, I could do that. So after seeing that, I then committed to trying to increase my typing speed to a hundred words per minute. This is what happened. All right, so first things first, where I'm starting off at, I got a little confession for you guys. See, in one of my older videos, I was typing on a keyboard, and if you saw, my typing speed was around 60 words per minute. I know, I know, flash lightning speed. And while I would love to tell you guys that that was my average, that shot actually took around four tries over the course of 15 minutes. And um, my average typing speed was around 50 words per minute, so definitely not the 60 that you guys saw in that video. And even though that video is from a couple months ago, it's it's not like I was practicing typing or I was actively trying to get better at that time. I was just typing and that was just my natural typing speed. So I'm gonna say that 50 is where the starting point of this challenge is and I'm gonna be trying to get to 100. So I'm not exactly starting from zero, but I still do have a long way to go. So yeah, going forward, I decided to commit to 10 minutes per day of actively trying to get better at my typing. And that was all on top of the online schoolwork that I was doing uh, during this past few months. And you guys are probably wondering what the practice actually was, what did I do, and what can you guys do to actually get faster? And this is what I did. So the first thing that I did to actually learn the touch typing part of this was I went to keybr.com. And their website's actually pretty cool because it gives you a really easy guide to learning where all the keys on the keyboard are, and it makes it really easy to do so. And after you go through all the basic touch typing and you just learn where all the keys are, it has this really great system that sees where your weakest letter is and then actually helps you with that specific letter and then after that you are able to master all the different letters on your keyboard without looking at a single one of them so yeah after key br next up i went to 10fastfingers.com to actually train my muscle memory and my speed and this is where i spent a majority of the training and this website's pretty cool because it gives you a one minute test of the most common English words so that you're always mastering what you're actually going to be using. This is also really important for muscle memory because once you learn where all the keys are, it's important that you start training yourself to become familiar with the words that you're actually going to be using, not just combinations of random letters. And after constantly repeating this exercise, you become super fast at some of the most common words. And this means that your typing gets really fast really quickly. And after that, the secret is to just do a lot of practice. You really just can't get around it and you just got to do it. And something really important about the practice is that you got to be consistent as well so that you're always pushing yourself to just get a little bit better. And to be completely honest with you guys, you guys are going to hit those early milestones like 30 or 40 words per minute really, really quickly. And that's the great thing about doing it this way, because every time that I reached a new milestone, I would set that one as like my new average. And then every time I would do another typing test, I would either try to meet that goal or I try to go above it, but never go below it. And I would do that for 60 words per minute, for 70, even 80 words per minute. So it's definitely possible for you to use this to get even faster at your typing speed. However, this is where some of the issues started to arise for me. See, first off, I already had some bad habits that I had from when I first learned touch typing, and I was still carrying those on even onto the faster typing speeds. But the even more difficult thing for me was the fact that increasing my speed was getting increasingly more difficult. Let me show you what I mean. See, when I first began, I was basically fresh out of learning how to touch type to begin with. I barely knew where most of the keys were and my muscle memory was basically non-existent. The good thing about this is that you can really make big progress really fast from where you started. And man, let me tell you, the feeling of hitting a new word per minute record basically every week. Oh boy, yeah. However, as my words per minute got even faster and I was in the mid 70s, I really struggled. I would type as fast as I could trying to improve, but the progress I was making was nothing like the first few weeks. My progress went from daily to weekly to bi-weekly, 
and I was seriously doubting if I could even do this. I became really frustrated when I would hit 80 words per minute, followed by not even being able to cross 75 words per minute for the rest of the day, and I contemplated whether or not continuing was still worth it, considering I had already passed my 30 day goal. So yeah, I failed. Well, no, see, here's the thing. Every time that I got 70 words per minute or 72 or 75, there were always those few chances that I got 80, even around 80 or a little bit above 80. And it's because of that that I knew this was possible. So I decided to change things up. I decided to do some races so that way I would focus less on the numbers and I would actually try to have some fun with this. Next, I decided to do my typing tests while watching YouTube or Netflix or things that I would have already been doing. And finally, and by the way, this gave me the most growth that I ever saw during this entire challenge, but basically I would switch between first doing a test and trying to get absolutely zero keys wrong, and then the next test I would just try to move my fingers as fast as I could, no matter matter how many mistakes, still trying to get right words of course, but just trying to go as fast as possible. And this made my numbers increase a lot. And after two whole months of just trying to get faster and not quitting, I hit my personal best of 93 words per minute. And yeah, this wasn't the 100 words per minute that I had aimed for, but this was a number that I was actually proud of myself for, and this was something that I was happy with. And let me tell you, the first time that I hit above 90 words per minute, the amount of joy that I had when I saw that number starting with a nine, my mind was like, and right after getting my personal best, I decided to do some more tests to see if I could match that speed. And, um, After seeing those few 90s, I really wanted to consistently get them. So I focused on making sure that my accuracy was zero and automatically my speed just started going up because I was wasting no time by making no mistakes. And this was the biggest tip that helped me. Focusing on my accuracy instead of my speed gave me the most growth, especially when I was at those higher numbers and gaining more speed was really difficult. Wasting time on having wrong keystrokes is just something that takes away so much time. So focusing on your accuracy will give you the most speed. And with that, I was happy. And fast typing is something that is really on a personal basis. Like if you're going for a job where you require 100 words per minute, then obviously that should be your goal. But if you're a student like me and you're just trying to finish those assignments faster and just optimize the way that you work, then personally, I don't think spending hours a day trying to go up a few words is necessarily the best use of your time. Just know what speed gives you the most value. And if you have to do a little bit more practice, then so be it. But maybe stop, rethink, and really Realize that the progress that you've made is already pretty cool. So there you go. Instead of 30 days, it took me a little bit more than 60 days to get to a point where I'm happy. And yes, I know I'm not the fastest typer in the world. There are definitely people that are faster typers than me, but I'm at a point that I'm satisfied with. I left all the resources that I used in the description below. And if you want to take up this challenge, DM me your progress. I'd love to see how fast you guys could get at typing. Just focus on consistent practice, changing things up, and making sure that it's always fun. Because fast typing is just such a useful skill and it provides so much value that we should just not pass it up. And just like fast typing could provide you a lot of value, if this video has provided you any value, it would really help my channel if you left a like and even subscribed if you want more videos just like this one. More videos are on the way, so hit the bell icon if you don't want to miss them. I'm Matt, and thanks for watching.